Thank you, and we're back. And so um, uh, the limitation was because of my resistance to stretching and, and to go even deeper, the limitation is the resistance to stretching when I thought I didn't need to stretch. Mm -hmm. It seemed like I was all right, so who needs to stretch? I can do that. That's something that old people do. That's something I'll do later, but I don't need that in order to have the success of my toe. Then that's how I can touch my toe, but otherwise there ain't going to be no toe touching. Amen. 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 Unless I have some assistance. I can call my partner and say, partner, come here and touch my toe, because I can't touch it. Amen. So, so the, the limitation on that is, is because not what I did today, but what I did 20 years ago, or what I didn't do 20 years ago. That's the, that's the limitation. That's why I can't touch wow. my toes wow. now. Because right. I didn't touch my toes 20 years ago. Right. 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 20 years ago, it looked like I was okay. Right. Right. But what I didn't know that I'm sharing with you right. is that for 20 years later that I couldn't see. Amen. Because Dr. Carolyn would tell you that as the body gets older, <laughs> then the muscles and the joints become naturally less flexible. Mm -hmm. Particularly the muscles. I'm going to the gym and everything's going to be all right. And I went in and I did one leg workout. One. <laughs> one leg workout with light weight. And the leg workout put me down for like three days. I got in the car and my legs was cramping. I didn't know what, I was on fire. I didn't know what to do. Ooh. You know, just random motions like kicking your heel up behind you. Oh. And my thigh felt like it was going to explode. I was like, what is happening to me? Yeah. And it was like, even though you had been using the walking muscles, yeah. you hadn't been using the squatting muscles. Right, 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 right. You hadn't been using the leg curl muscles. Yeah. Them different muscles. Yes, yes. And, 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 and those muscles are tick with you right now. Yeah. Uh -huh. That you have brought them out of retirement <laughs> after 15 years of inactivity. Uh -huh. Now all of a sudden you're just going to jump up on one random Monday morning and go in here and snatch us into service. We haven't been stretching. Mm -hmm. And because that's the case, you, you just can't function like that. Uh -huh. it, it, it's causing you trauma to your body, and that's why you need to go to physical therapy yes, because you just went and did one workout. Uh -huh. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Amen. I, I, I recognize that that's the case more and more because every time I try to do certain things like scratch your back. Uh -huh. <laughs> Have you ever tried to scratch your back and it gets to right here? Uh -huh. And you realize that's not the part you're trying to scratch. Uh -huh. One time I tried to scratch my back, I had to take the other arm and pull it up. You know what I'm saying? So I could hold it with this arm so I could scratch with the other arm. And then what I did is go to the Dollar Tree and get me a thing that I can reach back there and scratch it. Amen. And the stretch it out. And it, it does the stretch. Amen. So, but but, but you, can't, you can't use that range of muscles. You know, well, what's happening is the body is constantly uh, uh, regressing to a place of where it won't move. Amen. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that counters that is stretching. Mm -hmm. Amen. You, you sit there and you just become sedentary and, and just don't do nothing. That's exactly what you will be. Amen. Sedentary. You seen the folks that take them 15 minutes to get up out the chair? Yeah. Amen. I'm on five minutes, but they take 15. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? They do the, uh, and, uh, and they scoot up to the edge of the chair and turn it sideways and rock a little bit. They say, no, not that side. They turn the other way and rock and grab something. And they say, come here, baby, and help me. You know, and you pull because you just try and get out the chair. And then when they stand up, it sounds like fireworks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, that all of that is happening. There's nothing wrong with them. 
all the parts are still there and they all work. Yeah, yeah. They're just inactive yeah, yeah. and they haven't been activated because you don't stretch. Amen. And some of us are saying we ain't playing no game, so why are we stretching? And, and you, you, you need to stretch for the game of life. Yeah. They, 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 put a, they put a whole new thing out there for you to go pay for called yoga. Mm -hmm. and, and, and all yoga means is stretch. stretch. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> they, they tried to trick me. Uh -uh. They tried to trick me. I thought it was going to be like, like Zumba or something like that. You know, we're going to go in there and, and do some twisting. Uh -huh. No, this is just fancy word for stretching. You could have just told me we just going to do stretching like you were doing in middle school. I mean, you just put it out there. No, go get a yoga membership. I don't want a membership just to stretch. But what they realize is that, the, the, especially the older we get, we need the yoga from then so we can function now. You need that stretching. You need some downward dog yeah. You need some hug a tree. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? You know, reach for the stars. You know, you need all of that. You know, all that stuff. Like, y'all just giving names to stretch. Just say, raise your hand. Right, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, but you need that because cause somewhere along the line, you're going to try to function and you're going to say, why can't I do this? Amen. I should be able to do this and for some yeah, reason yeah. it's not working. Mm -hmm. right. It's not working because you have physically not been stretching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you get a kink and a catch mm -hmm. and you say, why? Why my neck won't turn this way? Because you haven't turned it that way. Amen. Right, right. Why, why does my back hurt right here? Because you haven't stretched that. Yeah, yeah. Amen. You you ought to be able to bend your shoulders back. You know, uh, Keith, we used to do that stretch when they bend your shoulders back and bring the arms together and touch your hand. I used to could like touch my hands back there. Ain't gonna be no ain't gonna be no touching. Ain't. You know what I'm trying to say? And you had to stand up straight and they hold the shoulders up and then touch. You know. Ain't no touching. Ain't no touching. It's an emergency. If y'all touch, if my hands touch, call the ambulance. Because something's broken. You know, it's an emergency. You know, and this this used to happen, but now it can't happen because there ain't been no touching for 30 years. You see what I'm saying? And so now my shoulders are like, are you kidding me? We go this way, touch at the front. Don't touch back there. Touch up here. You know what I mean? I, I, I haven't been stretching in that way. And, and so even though I'm good at touching here, I can't touch here. Even though I'm good at touching my knee, I can't touch my toe. Right. Even though I can reach with this way, I can't reach the other. All of these are limitations on my life because I haven't been stretching. Yes, yes. And if you go somewhere too far, you can try to reach out there if you want to, and you will do what they call pull a muscle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. You you will catch a cramp. I never understood why they call catching the cramp because I wasn't chasing the cramp. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they should say the cramp caught me because right. I sure wasn't looking for the cramp. Uh -huh. Amen. But you try to go out there and reach out there if you want to, and it lock up on you yeah. and throw you down on the ground because you know better than that. <laughs> you know better than to be in that situation trying to jump out here like you 18. You know we ain't done this. You better go hug a tree or something. Hug a tree. Right? All this is all this because I haven't been stretching. And, and the stretching does what? It creates a limitation on my life. Now, watch this. Y'all understand stretching now? Yes, sir. Should we should we start? Let's start with rolling our necks to the right. Oh, okay. Everybody roll your neck. Roll your neck. How many of you hear the popping? Back in? You hear? Now go back the other way. Okay, great, great, great. Go back the other way. You hear the popping and cracking that way because it's not prejudice. Now take your left arm and reach all the way over your head. Okay. Amen. All the, your other left, your other left. Oh. There you go. Amen. All the way over. You should feel.
feel that right up your side right there? Oh, Real no, good. Yeah. No. That's somebody, the cramp collar. The cramp collar right there. The other side, reach all the way over. All right, we exercise in that church. That's good. All right. Amen. Now hug the tree. Hug the tree. Real big tree. Real big. Uh, that is not a tree, Marquise. All right. Uh, all right. <laughs> now, if you'll see the, the, the clerk out front, amen, pay for your session. Amen. Right. amen. All of that, all of that stretching uh, is evidence of where there's a limitation. Amen. It's evidence of the fact where if you felt that catch, if you felt that cramp, amen, if you felt that pull, if you felt that tug, that was the limitation that was in your life. Okay. You have, y'all understand stretching? Yes. Yeah. You have these kinds of limitations in your faith. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have these kinds of limitations. What's that called, Carolyn? When you when you don't have that mobility, it's the it's not an itis, but it's a uh, it's a range of motion. Oh. No, it's a it's a it's, it's like itis or something. It's a like a contour. You have these kind of limitations <laughs> in your faith. Mm -hmm. Meaning that there's a certain point mm -hmm. that your faith won't go. All right. Because you haven't stretched. Well, it, it, it's a place where you're going to point, you're going to touch your toes and you start bending, but your hands won't go that far. So you'll go only so far and then you'll point at it but you won't reach it. Amen. And the inability to reach it is because you haven't stretched in that area. Wow. You only move this far. So because you only move this far, this is what I've been doing for the last 20 years and because of that I'm never going to reach past this point. Mm -hmm. And there's a there's a natural stiffness <coughs> that yeah. goes in uh -huh. to where your body says, you don't go past this. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And there's the same type of stiffness that says your faith mm -hmm. doesn't go past this. That's right. There's a, there's there are people, there are people that give thousand dollar offerings mm -hmm. per week. Mm -hmm. Per week. Per week. Mm -hmm. Just just random. I was out of service. I'm going to sow a thousand dollars into the offering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to another service this afternoon. Uh -huh. And I'm going to give some more. Mm -hmm. And when I say that, most of y'all's eyebrows raised up. Amen. Yeah. Like, Cannon, you tripping. I hope you ain't finna call one of them today. Because <laughs> you better be disappointed. Right? Amen. But but there are people that, that don't feel Amen. any discomfort Amen. Amen. over giving a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. That's no problem. I'll take it. And, and for some of you, it's not because you don't have a thousand. It's that, it's that you can't fathom giving a thousand dollars in a random offering just because in the church. It's offering, no, oh, what am I give today? Let's just cash up a thousand dollars. You know, you know, I, I mean, I, I, I've talked about this for five minutes now and nobody said amen yet. <laughs> Damn, I got a few. Mm. <laughs> I trip off that. No amens. <laughs> Yes, sir, me, me, Pastor, I do that all the time. No, because because we haven't stretched. Some of us, some of us, five dollars is a major offering. Some of us, ten dollars is a, you know, we really love we really love you. We gave ten dollars at one time. You know what I'm saying? Twenty dollars is a special event. You know, it's a it's the anniversary. Let me give twenty, twenty-five dollars. You know, a hundred dollars I might be pushing it. You see what I'm saying? That's got to be like your 
milestone anniversary. <laughs> and don't have one of them next year. You see what I'm saying? But 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 where is where is the part? You know, like like I know people that have given away whole cars yeah. that that still run yeah. Yeah. properly yeah. and paid for it yeah. with with no with no tickets on. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like you can actually go out in public with it, <laughs> and they just say, "Here, let me bless you with the car." You know, well, how, how's your stretching on that? You know, how how does that go? How, how about just giving someone a home? Yeah. The entire home. Yeah. See how quiet it gets? It's, it's pulling us into a place where we don't move that way. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We don't, we don't move that way. You know, just buying gas would be, and I ain't talking about the, the fire. I'm talking about right. quick trip. Right. That would be a big thing. You want me to buy you a whole tank of gas? <laughs> That's like forty some dollars. Right. You don't have nothing. I can give you maybe ten on some gas. <laughs> See, it's a limitation. Right. You had the forty dollars. Yeah. Why didn't you just give them the whole tank? Amen. 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 Yeah. It's, it's because we don't stretch that way. And, and, in order, and in order to stretch that way, you got to actually exercise right, right. the giving muscle. Right. Yeah. Amen. You, you got to exercise. You got to say to yourself, it's got to be a part just like when I say, mm -hmm. okay, you're going to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning and go to the gym. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got you got to you got to prepare your mind, uh -huh. yeah. you know, because five o'clock gonna come around and you are gonna say I really don't want to get up, <laughs> but you have to be committed to yeah. the fact that you're gonna get up and go and get yourself out. And even though that bed is mighty warm and it's cold out there <laughs> and it might be come raining on. On, and, and stuff like that, and you got so much to do, and <laughs> maybe you would just put it off until tomorrow right. or maybe later on today if I have some time. All of that is causing immobility Woo! in your life. Yeah. Amen. And, and the same thing is happening in your faith realm, especially, I'm just using the yeah, example of giving, is saying, you know, when, when the $100 thought comes in your mind, the, the following thought is what you need to do with the $100. Uh -huh. It's the reasons why you wouldn't give the $100, and, and, and right. then you begin to go back and revert back into the place of I'm just not going to move like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come on. That's for somebody else. Uh -huh. And because of that, it, it, it's not that it's a sin. Uh -huh. It's not even a shame. Uh -huh. What it is is a limiting factor uh -huh. in your right. life. Amen. Amen. Luke says, come on. "Give and it shall be yeah. given yeah. unto you." <clears throat> uh, good measure. Thrust down, shake it together. Come on, y'all got it. Run over, run over. Shall men yeah, yeah, give unto yeah. your bosom. The For the same yeah. way that you give, yeah. that's the same yeah. way it will be measured unto you. So, so you see how it's a limiting thing? It's a limiting thing because the way that you are willing to give has put a limitation on how it will be given unto you. If you're, not, if you're not willing to give that way, you've already created a barrier to what you can receive. You've created a limitation. It's not that the giver doesn't want to give more. It's that you created the limitation. Remember the woman with the vessels? And the oil was flowing? But the oil was flowing according to the number of vessels that she got. And when she ran out of vessels, the oil stopped flowing. New word. When she ran out of capacity, the oil stopped flowing. So, so your stretching increases or stretches your capacity. So, so God is working with you according to what capacity you have given him in your life. Wow. Ugh. 
If you say, this is as far as I'm going to go, then God agrees with you. If you say, I'm going to go further, then God agrees with you. By faith, uh, Abel offered a sacrifice that was more excellent than Cain. And he obtained this witness, witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gift, and, and being a dead yet speaking, because it pleased God. Because because he, he was willing to do more and do better than what Cain did. Right. Yeah, yeah. He was willing to give a greater sacrifice than what Cain did. And God recognized the difference. Amen. And it made God happy. Amen. Amen. In your life, the things that you're willing to do require you to stretch. Now look, yeah. you, you have a place where you got options. You have a place where you can stay exactly where you are. Mm -hmm. And live and have a great life. Right. But are you at a place where you can advance and go to that next level or that next round of, of, of experience in what you're doing? And live and have a great life? Yeah. Are you at the place where you can blow the roof off of it? Mm -hmm. And live and have a great life? Mm -hmm. Amen. But if you're going to go anywhere beyond where you are, yeah. it's going to require you to stretch. Yep. Yeah. Amen. And, 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 and the stretching is what you should have already been doing. Amen. Amen. Because the, the, the lack of stretching is causing the limitation on where you are. Amen. I, I recognize I recognize so much at you know where I'm at in business on a, on a national level it's a it's a big challenge. Mm -hmm. On a national level it's a big challenge because I have to ask a different question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on the local level, I can ask CC and say CC, uh, I'm Damon Cannon, I own the St. Louis Spirits and and you love me. Mm -hmm. Give me a thousand dollar sponsorship, mm -hmm. and then CC says thousand dollars is nothing for me. Hug a tree, and I she writes out the check. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? She writes out the check. Come on, write out the check. <laughs> <laughs> she writes out the check. She gives me a thousand dollar sponsorship. Doesn't even blink because it's me, and she loves me. When when I'm on the national level, and I call T-Mobile. And I say, T-Mobile, you've never seen me before. You don't know anything about me. Amen. Uh, uh, give me $50,000 for the, for the American Basketball Association. We want your sponsorship. T-Mobile says, I don't know you. I don't know anything about you. I, I, don't, I, I don't know any reason why we should be in business with you. You know why? Because I haven't been stretching. And, and so stretching requires me to sow into the development yeah, of a relationship on that level. Yeah. So, so when I want T-Mobile to give me fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollars, the the thing is going to say they're going to say, well, what kind of thousand dollar work have you done? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. how how have you treated your thousand dollar people? Right. Tell me about CC. Right. 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 And, so, and I tell them, oh, our thousand dollar, we have just. Blown them away. And then, then we, we, we developed them and brought them up to 5,000. And, and then they, and then because of that, they experienced some amazing growth and good exposure. And, and now on this next level, uh, 10 was a big threshold because we, we uh, 10 years ago, CeCe couldn't even have a $10,000 conversation. But because of uh, what she's done, she has grown, and now she can expand her involvement with us. And you're going to experience that same thing at 50 as soon as you write the check out. Write the check out. What I'm showing her, what I'm showing T-Mobile is my ability to manage that kind of relationship. And, if I, and, I, and I don't have, you heard it here first, I don't have the ability to manage that type of relationship because I don't know how that feels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> so you you got to say what does it feel like to be in that 
so I can know how to approach giving it. I can explain this. I can have a program at church. Yes. And I can have a program at church. And I'll say, ooh, I'm going to have a wonderful program at church. And I can make my flyer and send it out to everybody and say, come to my program. We're going to have a wonderful program at church. Come, bring all your friends. Bring all your cousins. Bring all your church members. Come to my program. Right? And when I say, come to my program, and then they don't come. And then I'm saying, why didn't they come? Right? That's what we say, right? Yes. And the question that you should be asking is why should they come? Mm -hmm. That's good. Why should they come? <laughs> what 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 the why should they come? Well, because my program is gonna be a blessing. Well, because the Lord is gonna use me. Well, because I had a great idea. Mm -hmm. Whatever the things are, that's your reason, right? Mm -hmm. But but does your reason work? Good enough to make you go to their program. That's good. When you're tired. Right. When you're busy. Right. When your kids got something to do. When you got a deadline at work. When you're already kind of low on funds. Does anything work in you that makes you say, I need to go stretch beyond my discomfort to be able to sow into this other thing because that's what it takes to create that yeah. when you go to come somewhere else. <clears throat> Amen. That's what it takes. That, if you can't see a path why you should do it, then you shouldn't see a path why anybody should do it for you. Yeah. Even if it's doing it at another level. Why would they do it if you don't see the reason to do it? Why would they support your program if you don't see a reason to support a program? Why would they give an offering if you don't, you always throw a dollar, but you waiting for somebody to bless you with a million? Right. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. I want million dollar blessings, dollar C. Yeah. That ain't even a hundredfold. Right. Right. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, so in order for you to expose yourself into the next place that you want to be in, you got to stretch. Yeah. Yeah. You, you got you to create discomfort okay. in you. So that you can uh, uh, appreciate the discomfort in somebody else. Amen. It's just called empathy. Yes. You got you got to create that. You got to feel what they're feeling, even if it's to scale, so that you say, "I'm touched with the feeling of your infirmity." That's good. I, I'm moved with compassion. So I know what it's like to try to get to another level, but know that there's a limitation. And so I'm going to be there to help push you so that you can get to the place that you're trying to go. Amen. And, and people will do it. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for those amen. And people will do it. Amen. But they will do it only to the limitation that you have created by your inability or unwillingness to stretch. Yeah. Right. If you if you're finding yourself running into roadblocks, you created them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, right? Mm -hmm. You you created them. <clears throat> if, if somebody, you know, some people would be uncomfortable asking for fifty thousand yeah. dollars. Do you know do you know why it's uncomfortable? Because in your mind that's crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because even though you might not be saying it, you saying it on the inside, it's no way in the world I'd give me fifty thousand dollars. You wouldn't even give it to yourself. Right. Let alone to somebody else. Right. Mm -hmm. So in your ask, you're already defeated. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, you you already thinking to yourself, if they give me fifty thousand dollars, they trip. <laughs> and then they say, if I'm giving them fifty thousand dollars, I'm tripping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they know I'm tripping. But 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 when you appreciate vo vocabulary word, when you appreciate yourself Amen. enough, Amen. then you can ask for more. Appreciate is one of those English words that have multiple meanings, but they're related. 
appreciate means an increase in value. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> when when you when something appreciates, it means it went from worth a hundred dollars to worth two hundred dollars. Yeah. Right. It appreciated. Right. But we also use that word to say she did something, so I appreciate her. Mm -hmm. But we don't realize that it's still saying the same thing. Because she did something, her value increases. Mm -hmm. Amen. Her value appreciated. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate, I increase her value because of what she did. Amen. Amen. That's evident in Spanish. Those of you that speak Spanish, that's evident. And if, and if I say gracias, it, your response would be, Say it, say it real loud. Day Your response would be de nada. And, and if you don't understand Spanish, then you would think that that means you're welcome. Right. Because when we say thank you, then the person responds and says you're welcome. Right. But in Spanish, de nada doesn't mean you're welcome. De nada means it's nothing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Nada, nothing. Mm -hmm. it, it means it's nothing. Mm -hmm. So it's saying for me to do this, is nothing. Amen. For me to give this is nothing. For me to help is nothing. So so now I know that I can give and it's nothing. It's nothing for me to give. It's nothing for me to serve. It's nothing for me to help. Mm -hmm. That's stretching. Amen. 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 When you when you give and you're trying to figure out how you're gonna get it back. It's something. Right. That's good. It's something. Good. You've already you've got a limitation in your brain that says, I can't. We use words. We use <laughs> words that we shouldn't use. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't afford this. Right. Mm -hmm. That's true. Don't we say that? Yes. yes. Anybody want to confess? Yes. It's been two weeks since my last confession. <laughs> Amen. <clears throat> I can't afford this is a limitation. Yes. It's a limitate, it's a block in your brain. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm paused. We're not buffering. It's a, it's a block in your brain when you say, I can't afford this. My father is rich yes, he is. in houses mm -hmm. and land. Mm -hmm. He owns the cattle on a thousand hills mm -hmm. and he owns the hill. Right. Yeah. That's right. And then I say, I can't afford this. Wow. That's mm -hmm. good, sir. What the problem? Now, I may not have it mm -hmm. today, mm -hmm. but uh, not being able to afford it is a limitation that I've already preset. Mm -hmm. If Rochelle give me a whole bunch of money, I can afford it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. The problem is Rochelle ain't gave me a whole bunch of money yet. <laughs> See, I put the yet on there. <laughs> yeah. When, when Rochelle give me a whole bunch of money, then the limitation goes away. Amen. I couldn't afford this until she gave me a lot of money. So I, because I didn't expect to receive a lot of money, I had already planned that I couldn't afford it. But if I expected that there was going to be a lot of money coming from somewhere, then I would have expected to be able to afford it. And so I never would have put the limitation in place that said I can't. Right. Amen. The I can't happen because I have not been stretching in this place. Yeah. 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 I, I have to expand, I have to expand my reach right. to the point that I say, God can do this for me. Yeah. Yeah. If God did this for Bill Gates, then God can do this for me. Amen. If God did yeah. this for Mark Cuban, then God can do this for me. Right. I, I, whoever it is, he, if he did it for them, God, God can do this. Why wouldn't God do this for me? Why, why wouldn't God give me with the million dollars? Yeah. Why wouldn't God sow into my business? Why wouldn't God cause me to prosper? Why wouldn't God cause me to blow up? Why can't I be a mogul? Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. who, who decided right. that I couldn't be great? Right. That's right. Amen. Amen. It happened in you mm -hmm. when you stopped stretching. Right, right, right. T.D. said several years ago, but it's something that stuck with me uh, when he was preaching this message, and, and he said, the problem that many of us have is our plan B. Mm -hmm. 
and our plan B exist as really our primary plan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most of us don't have a plan for winning. Mm -hmm. That's good. We, are, we are determined mm -hmm. to have a great backup plan mm -hmm. because we expect to need a backup plan. But we don't have an expectation of success. What happens if you exceed every expectation? What happens if the windows open up and pour out more than you're able to receive? What happens if they flood into your business and shut it down? What happens? Amen. You don't even have a plan for that. Because you have no expectation for that. You're not building for that. You're not setting yourself. You don't have an account big enough to put the money in. You just got a little free checking. That's good. You ain't expecting God to do. You ain't expecting. You ain't expecting God to sow a million dollars in you. Because you haven't put out enough vessels. Right. You just said this one vessel is enough. I ain't getting no more than that. And you don't stretch. Amen. When that oil stopped flowing, the prophet said, you should have got more vessels. That's right. Oh, yes. And, and, and the same thing is happening with you. You, you should get more capacity. Because because God is doing something in your life right now. There is a flow in your life right now that you're missing. Amen. Amen. Thank you for that, amen. I'm going to talk to this side and see if they hear me. And there is a flow that's happening in your life right now yes, amen. that you're missing because you haven't increased your capacity amen. enough to receive it. All right. it. It's all around you. It, it ain't coming. It ain't on the way. It's right there. Wow. You look around, you will see that other people around you seem to be being blessed. That's because there's a flow. It, it's already flowing. And you missing it because you ain't stretched. You better run and borrow some vessels. You better run out and buy you some extra vessels. You better do whatever you can to increase your capacity or you're going to miss the flow that's already, this is your season. But you, but you can't allow yourself, you can't allow yourself to miss it because, you know, golly, I really feel like preaching right here, but I got to go here and tell you some of you don't think you deserve to be blessed. All right. All right. And, and, and you are trying to low-key punish yourself and, and, and cause yourself to go through something that God is over. My God. And God is trying to push you under the flow. And, and, and while he's trying to push you under the flow, you're still trying to go back to the way you did. You're trying to go back to where you came from. You're trying to go back to what you've been through. And this is how it's always been. And ain't nobody in my family ever had this, that, you know. Girl, forget about those things that's behind you. Reach for the things that's before and press. Yes, yes, yes. I can't afford. I can't afford to miss. What's flowing in my life? Amen. Amen. Oh my Amen. God. Amen. Oh, no, 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 no. Look, look, look. Yes. Stretching makes you uncomfortable. Yes, it does. It does. But it prepares you for success. Yes, it does. Don't, don't let the discomfort of the stretch Woo! make you miss the miracle. Uh -huh. You might have to suffer a little while. Uh -huh. Before you write, don't don't miss it. Don't miss oh because it hurt a little bit. Hurt hurt today. Hurt. Go ahead and hurt. Stretch. Put some ice on it. It'll be all right. Amen. Amen. Because these light afflictions, yeah, are not worthy to be compared. That's right. To the glory that That's shall right. be. That's right. Yes. Rebellion. Oh, don't miss That's it. Right. That's right. Don't miss your moment. You don't, you don't know out of all the all the things that you've been through, that was just stretching. My God. That was some of the some of the things that you thought was abuse was really a good stretch. My God. Amen. Some of the things, some of the things that you suffered, some of the things that you suffered was necessary for you to be able to handle the weight of glory that's coming. And if you hadn't handled that, because when you get there, they don't talk about you. When you get there, they don't lie on you. When you get there, they don't they don't come for you. And so they've been coming for you down here, just training you. Just training you for when you get there. They've been talking about you down here, just getting you ready for when you get there. So when you get there, them things don't even 
praise you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't miss it. Amen. Yeah. Don't miss it. Amen. Don't 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 not stretch. You got to reach past your comfort zone. Uh-huh. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I say you got to reach past your comfort zone. Yes. Amen. That when you go past oh, your Lord. comfort zone, oh, now you're stretching. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> this ain't stretching. Jesus. I'm comfortable right here. Right. Mm -hmm. This ain't this ain't stretching. Right. This here? Yeah. Ah! This here? This is a thing. Yeah. You grab my arms and try to pull them together, I'm going to kick you. <laughs> because my arms don't feel like they can do it, but they can. Right. Amen. 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 Now, let me tell you this. I got to hurry up. I'm almost out of town. But let me tell you this. Sometimes pain lies. Amen. Amen. Y'all weren't ready for church Amen. this morning. Amen. I'm sorry, I woke y'all up too early. Amen. 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 Some, sometimes pain lies. Yes. And, and pain can be discouraging. Yes. Yes. Because it's, it's trying to make you tap out. That's True. right. That's right. Amen. Pain, pain is, is trying to be a submission hold yeah. in your life. And, and, and pain is not broken. That's right. Amen. Oh my God. You can hurt and not be broken. Yes. Yes. You can hurt and not be defeated. Yes. Amen. Amen. You true. can hurt That's and true. it not be over. True. I might be hurting, but I'm still in it. Yes. Amen. I might be hurting, but I won't give up. Yes. And, and all pain is trying to do is tell you yes. that it won't get better, yes. so you might as well stop yes. trying. Yes. But what, you, what the goal is, yes. is that you have to endure Hardness. Yes, As a good soul, you gotta endure the pain. Yes. You gotta make it through the suffering. Yes. If you can make it through, mm -hmm. then greater is coming. Somebody shout yes. greater. Yes. Somebody shout yes. greater. Yes. greater. Yes. That is coming. Greater. If you can make it through the pain, yes, yes it hurts right now. You gotta yes. know it hurts. You gotta let it hurt. You gotta show up for the hurt. You gotta take the hurt. You gotta ask somebody to reach back there and pull your arms together and help you hurt because hurting is necessary for me to get to where I'm going. Yeah. And I can't allow a little bit of pain yeah. Yeah. to yeah. prevent me from getting to my blessed place. Amen. 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 My God. Amen. David was going through something. He said, I had fainted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was just about to give up yeah. Yeah. if I hadn't believed. Right. See how faith is necessary. I, I was going. I was going to throw in the towel if I hadn't. If I wasn't holding on to this one belief, yeah. crazy it might be. All right. That I would see the goodness of the Lord. Yeah. In the land of the living. Hallelujah. And, and when you're going through what you're going through, you might get weary sometimes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you might get tired sometimes. Yeah, it, it might hurt and it might feel like it's more than you can bear. But hold on to this one belief. I believe I'm going to see the goodness of the Lord. In the, I, he won't let it end like this. Yes, I'm going to make it. It hurts, but I'm going to make it. I'm scarred, but I'm going to make it. I'm going through, but I'm going to make it. But when I come through, Hey, hey, man, when I come through, yeah. I ain't coming through like I was. I ain't going to look like what I've been through, but I'm coming out like pure gold. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, it's going to take a little stretching. Yeah. It's, it's going to take, take moving you past what you've been doing. It's going to cause you to do some things that you haven't been doing. Yep. And you're going to know it. You're going to feel the anxiety in your chest. You're going to see the increase in your breathing. You might feel a little shaking and whatever like that. Know that when you get to that point, you just get into the stretching. Uh -huh. You haven't even been working Amen. until you get here. Here is a place where you're not comfortable. Here is a place where you need God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Over here, I got it. No worries. I'm good. I can handle it. But out there, yes. I need God. Yes. God, I'm uncomfortable in this yes. place. God, I don't know if I can handle this situation. God, what happens if I fall? God, I've never been on water before. Mm -hmm. It's stretching me. Yes. It's stre you 
don't know what one water walking experience did for Peter's life. Amen. Godly. Amen. Man. Amen. I got Come on, Amen. Sir. Amen. All right. Mm -hmm. One water walking experience. Rochelle, it was 12 disciples on the boat. I started to say on the bus. <laughs> it, 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 was, it was 12 disciples on the boat. Uh -huh. But only one ever. Yes. Come on now. Yes. Ever, Ever. Yeah. walked on water. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody else said, me too, me too. Right. <laughs> Let me come out there too. Only one, only one. And, and, and we're talking about him today because he was crazy enough to stretch. That's right. That's right. He was, he, he was fine having faith on the boat. Come on in. Uh -huh. You don't have to have faith for water. You can have faith for both. Yeah, yeah. But but faith for both is a limiting yeah, factor yeah. in your life. Yeah. See, it puts you in a whole different category when you say, I've been on boats, but you should really see me on water. Right. Right. Hey, Amen. You should see me on I was walking on top of the water. Uh -huh. yeah. See, one conversation about walking on top of the water changes your concept yeah. of the whole world. Yeah. Because everything yeah. in the book says that I can't make it standing on water. I can't walk on water. But if I ever experience walking on water, then it causes me to challenge everything else that the book says. Every limitation that's been on my life. You think it's just about water, but I believe I can fly. Yeah. Hey. Come on, sir. If you had caught me last week, I would have I would have said I'm limited to ground, but but now the world looks different. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'd have been out on water. What else can I do? Yeah. Amen. I can climb the highest mountain. Uh -huh. I can swim the deepest ocean. Yes. Nothing shall be impossible yes. to them that believe. Yes. Yes. Oh! Uh-huh. They got to believe it. Amen. Yeah. When Jesus Jesus was doing faith training, stretching Peter, where he was stretching, oh my Lord have mercy. I really would like to break some things up. He he was, he was, because you don't understand, I don't care if y'all miss this or not, I'm getting a stretching right now. Oh, he stretch, he's stretching some things. There he is. Yeah. Jesus was doing training. He was doing training with Peter out there on the water. Everybody else is looking at him, and, and he's out there on the water, and, and should, and should, people will criticize you for sinking in something that they've never walked on. That's right. That is so much the truth, sir. That is so much the truth. Peter been out there walking on the water for 10 minutes. And after a few seconds of, sh of sinking, yeah. they say, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, I told you. Yeah. Look at him, he yeah. sank. Uh -huh. That's because they refused to even get into the realm uh -huh. of what uh -huh. you're dealing with. They didn't even want to be out there yeah. in that situation, so they hoping you fall. Uh -huh. They hoping you fail. They hoping you don't make it because whatever you do right. is an indictment on yeah. them that they don't have enough faith to go where yeah. you have already gone. Yeah. Peter went to sinking in that water. He didn't drown. No, he didn't. And, and Jesus was standing right there on the water with him. And the Bible says that, that Jesus reached down. Hallelujah. He reached down and caught Peter. Now, now look, it didn't say that Peter went underwater. Amen. That would be like failure. Right. Amen. But as he was sinking, that's right. Amen. It said Jesus reached down and called him. Yeah. And he called him and picked him up. Yeah. And when he picked him up, he didn't carry him like this here. Yeah. Amen. He picked him up and he put him right back down on the wall. Come on, sir. And they continued to walk in stuff that the disciples was just watching. Yeah. From the boat. Yes, Jesus yes, asked them a question. This was the training. This was the training. And I, I need you to get this training in your life. Amen. Take the Jesus training. This is what this is what Jesus said to Peter. He, he said, why 
Did you doubt? Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. That's it. Oh, God. But him asking why did you doubt was not criticism. Mm -hmm. Right. No. It was training. Yeah. Yeah. Because if I can figure out why I doubted this time, Come on. then the next time I'm in this same situation, yes. if there's nothing that can come against me that will hinder me from walking all over this thing, I can walk yes. all around come in this on. stuff. Yes. And man, last time you almost got me. Now this is just what I do. Woo. I just walk on water because I feel like it. Yes. I can't miss the teachable moment. I can't let well, what looked like failure Amen. Come on. make me miss the training yes, sir. for victory. Yes. So what are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that people thought that because the last thing you did, something went wrong. Uh -huh. And when something went wrong, they say, see, you can't. Right. But well, while they talking about what you can't, you already are. Yes. Amen. Yes. It, you, you can't take away the fact, I don't care if it was three steps. You can't take away the fact that I've been on the water and you ain't. Right. Amen. I've been where you haven't been. Right. I've done what you never did. Yeah. That's right. Stretching. Yeah. Hug, the, hug the tree. <laughs> Down with dog. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna stretch this thing out. Amen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go further than where I am. Yeah. I'm not gonna let the limiting belief on. that's on my life control me. I'm yes. not going to let it keep me in a box. I'm yes. not going to let it uh, cause me to doubt. Yes. I'm not going to let it uh, put a ceiling on yes. where I go. Yeah. I can do all things. Oh, I, I said I can do all things. Oh, I said I can do all things oh, through Christ that's strength. That's nothing yeah. that's impossible to me. Now, under him that's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all I could ask or ever think. To him be glory. Yeah. Dominion and power. Yeah. Both now. And, and, and forever. In Jesus name. Amen. Let us all say thank God. Thank God. Amen. Come on. God bless you.